The other day I was messing around with Minecraft 1.16's dungeon generation code and noticed something interesting. Apparently, with the right conditions, it should be possible for multiple spawners to generate in a straight line, right next to each other, forming a cool looking cluster. Seed finders have already discovered several insane spawner cluster seeds, like the octuple dungeon found by Cracked Magnet, the quintuple pig spawner found by Andrew, and the quintuple blaze spawner found by Dylan DC14. Today, it's time for the collection to expand. So join me on a journey for dungeon generation mechanics and reversal of pseudorandomness to ultimately find a seed with the biggest cluster of perfectly aligned spawners possible in the game. Let's go! In Minecraft 1.17 and below, every single chunk tries to generate dungeons in 8 pseudorandom positions determined by the chunk seed. These attempts rarely succeed, which is why Minecraft worlds look like this. And not this. For an attempt to be successful, there can be no air blocks where the dungeon's floor and ceiling will go, and there must be between 1 and 5 air columns in the dungeon's future walls. If these conditions are met, the dungeon generates. The first two requirements are easily satisfied underground, but it's quite hard to get the necessary air columns. But conveniently, when a small dungeon generates, Another dungeon can use the carved out air to pass the air column check, and the chain can continue. If we want the spawners to be packed close together, we have to be careful. Place spawners can get replaced with other dungeons cobblestone. Fortunately, if there are one block gaps between consecutive spawners, the issue disappears. So in theory, to get a chain of perfectly aligned dungeons, all we need is one small dungeon generated successfully, and a lot of chunk seed luck to get the remaining ones. It turns out that our luck is very limited though. There simply aren't enough chunks across all Minecraft worlds for a cluster of 7 or more perfectly aligned dungeons to exist. And so our target is to find a seed that has 6. While my past self is busy coding, let me explain how it's all going to work. We'll calculate the dungeon positions for every possible chunk seed, and store seeds that can generate chains of free dungeons. Then the code will check every possible pair of stored chunk seeds to find ones that can form a full 6 dungeon chain when tiled together. In other words, we'll generate a huge list of possible puzzle pieces and find pairs that connect. As usual, the first prototype of the code was extremely slow and didn't even work correctly. Fortunately, the bugs were easy to spot, and adding a simple optimization made it run almost 9 times faster. After tweaking the code some more, I managed to bring the estimated runtime down to under 3 hours, and was finally satisfied. The current results are still pretty abstract and not directly usable in game, so the next step is to convert our pairs of chunk seeds into actual world seeds using the two chunk reversal algorithm. Then we'll filter out seeds in which the first dungeon doesn't generate. At that point, we'll check the remaining results manually. The first program found 190,000 chunk seeds, which were then organized into 90,000 matching pairs. Using two chunk reversal, the pairs were converted into 18,000 world seeds and then filtered down to a final few. It was time to start checking them in game. Wall. Yep, that was a big spawner. This happens when a dungeon tries to place a spawner inside a chest block, which is pretty common for our seeds.
Oh wow. Wow wow wow. One, two, three. What happened to the other three? One, two, nine, ten. I am literally so mad. Even though I quickly fixed and reran the code, I was going for seed after seed and couldn't find a working 6 dungeon chain. Whoa! <laughs> Another pig spawner, that's nice. Oh wow! That's our first quadruple, I think. How many is it? One, two, three, four again. One, two, three, four. So it's another quadruple, but this time this dungeon didn't generate. At that point, having checked over half the candidates, I was starting to lose hope. But then... Oh! Yes! Yes! That's it! Finally! Oh my god! This looks like it was placed manually. This is insane! This seed turned out to be the only working one out of all the candidates I checked. To see the end result of tens of hours of work right in front of my eyes felt truly special, and I'm glad I could share this experience with you. I've put the seed in coordinates in the description, where you'll also find all the code used for this video. This project wouldn't have been possible if not for the amazing work of Neil, Captain Wutax, Matthew Bolan, Jalajur, Dragon Tamer Fred, Exception, Cubitect, and many others who helped create open source seed finding tools. Thank you so much. I'd also like to thank Andrew, Cracked Magnet, and Dylan DC14 for their incredible finds that inspired this project. Finally, I'd like to thank you, the viewers, for watching the video. Have a good one.